Okay, here we go. If you've been to my website, awesome. If not, this is what it looks like. Filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. When you go there, we have different sections. We have a video section where you can search through all my videos. Like, let's say you want to see something about the video game Doom. I've got lots of video ga videos on the video game Doom and creating levels. Uh, I have a link to my library channel on, I guess it's Odyssey now, uh, about me. You have games that I've made, uh, the support section, which is important if you want to donate or become a Patreon or patron on Patreon, all that stuff. There is an RSS feed. And of course, there's a shell. If you want to use your shell, your terminal and your shell and not have a GUI interface, you can actually access my shell there, my website through there, um, which is just basically a very simple text interface that uh, you can use different text-based clients for. But that, we're not here to talk about any of that. Let's go back. Uh, there is a section here that I didn't talk about, software, uh, which is very useful. So I have a, a script section, which is just a, a folder on my web server that has scripts I've made. A lot of it's just this HTML stuff, stuff that I needed to have on a server to run for you to see. It might have example code and stuff. Uh, you know, I don't go there too much. Uh, I've used it in a few tutorials. One that I personally go to all the time is notes. It's, it's my notes. And here it's basically a link to, it says 91. There's a whole lot more than 91. I'm not sure why my counter's off. I'm 100% sure that I have more than 91 posts. But this is my my um, paste bin. You can search through all my paste bins. So again, like I can type in Doom and it'll bring up all my scripts on Doom or um, what's something else I did? Linphone. Do I have anything on Linphone? I have a, a section on Linphone. Uh, or uh, let's see, Godot, if I have any scripts on Godot. And then of course, if you click on them, it'll bring you to that paste bin post. I know uh, paste bin isn't the best. It's just what I've been using for years and it's just a pain uh, you know, to switch to anything else. But you can search through all my posts very simply there. Going back to Films by Chris and going back to the software section here, you'll see that you can also click and go to my GitLab page where I post bigger projects. So paste bin I use for, you know, simple little scripts and sometimes just notes on stuff. Uh, but uh, I have bigger projects. They have lots of files and folders. Those are up on my GitLab. And GitLab is great. Uh, and I'm logged in as my user here. I can search all of GitLab here. If I want to search through my projects, I can click on here. I can go to projects and then I can come up here and I can type in something like Godot. You know, if I wanted to see some of my project with Godot in it and it searches through it, took a second. ESP, if I want to look at my ESP8266 projects or or my ESP32 projects. Great, that's that's all there. But it's kind of annoying that I gotta be logged in and go there because if I was to take the same thing, let me go to a private browser where I'm not logged in. How do I search? Here are my projects. I can click view projects for this user and I can see all this user's projects, but how do I search them? This searches through all of GitLab. Now there might be something I can type in there that says look for the specific user. I don't know, but there should there should be a search option, in my opinion, right here, so I can search through this particular user's projects. And there probably is. If there is, let me know in the comments below. But I, I haven't seen it, uh, and I want you guys to be able to search through my GitLab projects pretty easily. So I threw something together. It's very simple right now. I'll probably add a little bit of features to it, make the search a little bit more advanced. But it's just quick and easy. If you go here, instead of clicking on, clicking on GitLab, you click on Search GitLab. It brings you to a page on my website, which is actually filmsacrist.com forward slash git search. And it automatically lists, I logged them all to a database on my server. So they load pretty fast. They grab the icons. And again, I can come in here, I can type in Godot and it'll narrow things down to Godot. If I do first, I can find first person shooters or a first uh, my first word game that I made uh, and something else. Let's see, um, yeah, Vim. So there's my Vim set up. My, my most recent ones are gonna be at the top. So like this one right here uh, is something I update regularly, my Vim project. So I click on that and it opens up a new tab to that project on GitLab. So again, this is just a quick way to search through my personal uh, Git projects. Again, ESP, and you can see it filters through real quick. Uh, I, I'm trying to be better about putting icons for stuff because there's an icon, it will show it. Uh, if not, it doesn't show an icon, but you'll just see the words. But of course, you can still click on these here. And uh, yeah, so hopefully I'll improve on this a little bit. But if you want to look through my GitLab projects, this is a quick and easy way to search. It's not super smart at this point, you know? So like if I do ESP and then I do motor, it's not gonna find this one that says ESP motor as of yet. I'll probably try to improve on, on that, but usually I can just think of a keyword again, like uh, first person shooter or um, a remote control of some sort. So yeah, those, those are two projects to go together, a GUI interface 
for uh, Cody, my Cody TV, which interacts with Cody, but also interacts with my ESP2 project that controls my TV. So yeah, so single words, again, music. Uh, I have uh, my music project and then an HTML5 music player that I probably made 10 years ago and probably is horrible. You probably don't want to use this. When did I make this? Uh, seven years ago. Uh, so yeah, and it was probably just something I threw together. It's probably very simple, but it might be an example code you want to look at. Uh, I don't know how many projects I have up on GitLab. I probably should have a counter on that works, unlike my notes one the here that tells you this. And of course, you can always click on this little tux icon to go back to my main website. But I just wanted to inform you that I put that there the other day. I kind of did it for myself just to make it quick and easy for me to search through my projects, but it might be useful for you guys too. So again, software here and then uh, get search GitLab to search through my GitLab projects and notes. Again, even when I have stuff on GitLab, usually I'll put quick notes here uh, for everything that I do, you know, like, if I do color, bash, and this is a little bit smarter, we'll at least look for multiple words when you put spaces in them. So here's like my bash script library. So anytime I want to add color to uh, a bash script, I have my notes here on that. Um, so again, a lot of these are, are workable scripts and other ones are um, notes on how to do stuff, but there's a lot there. Uh, and so check that out. And I do thank you for watching. And again, visit filmsbychris.com. Click on the tux there to get there. And of course, you can always, again, support me. LibrePay, which no one has ever donated to me on LibrePay. You could be the first. People ask for that, and I put it there. No one's used it. PayPal, if you want to do one-time uh, donation. Or, again, I'm always looking for more patrons on Patreon. I only have a handful or two, and uh, there's lots of you out there watching my videos. If not, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.